<gasps> no! Nice. Enjoying my reactions, but you don't feel like waiting a week for the next upload? That's cool, because I got you covered. Chances are, by the time you watch this show on YouTube, I'll already have the full seasons available over on Patreon in their complete unedited glory. All you gotta do is become a tier 2 patron. And if you just so happen to be a viewer who wants to request things from me, such as movies and shows, then you can take your loyalty even further by becoming a tier 3 patron. The ball is in your court, and I'm completely at your service. So take advantage of these opportunities now. Yo, what's going on you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with me, myself, and I on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen The Reactions, the place where I react to everything I've never seen. And if you read by the title, you already know what time it is. It's time to do some investigating with some more Detective Conan slash Case Closed reactions. And brief disclaimer, we are going to be watching all the canonical episodes, which means we're going to be skimming the fat on any fillers. That's right. We're going to keep things congruent to the source material, so just be advised of that, y'all. Uh, but yeah, last time we left off, we found ourselves going to a little class reunion with my boy Kaguro who got a chance to see his old college buddies you know everybody seems to be you know in a better place and most of them are married but there are some exceptions the head of the judo school which they were going to Yumi is one of the only ones that's not really engaged or married to anybody and she's feeling some type of way about that and you know when she tries to leave to go to her room after turning down a ping pong match they discover that she's killed herself so it seems you know um yes after discovering this thing you know we try to figure out what's going on and one of the guys who's like a big head honcho detective is like calling all the shots and saying hey we shouldn't do this and we shouldn't do that it wouldn't be wise for you to wake her up because you know how grumpy she is like he was just doing a lot of things and we ultimately came to the conclusion that he was the prime candidate behind this and it's mainly because yumi was turning him down a lot and when he decided to move on with another woman and get engaged to her Yumi was very de jealous of that and she decided that he was, she was going to make his life a living hell so he was basically getting extorted by Yumi so he was like yeah I gotta go ahead and cut these loose ends because she gonna ruin my life man so I, I kind of can't blame the guy but I, doesn't, I don't think like it justified murdering her you know that's just one of those big no-nos but anyways guys we're gonna keep things moving and grooving with episode 31 man so uh without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this this is gonna be titled tv station murder case here we go mm. channel 5 news who's calling hey you look crazy why does everybody look crazy in this episode what you want bitch i told you i ain't got it this month Uh oh. This guy looks like he's gonna be a creeper. Really? A pellet gun? You really thought you did something? <laughs> Hey, let's go. My boy didn't move up. Let's get it. Well, I usually black out when I'm about to solve something. Exactly. <laughs> Look at Code in. Yeah, exactly. What is it, a Dr. Pill commercial? Go oh, grab my boy a bottle of Pepto Bismol. Hey, man, I'm not that kind of guy. Oh, okay, so you just really want to rub it in. Hey. 
Shit, this nigga on some perverted Masaroshi shit. Your last words. Really? You gonna do this shit on live TV? He's doing this to set you up, man. That's all it was. The victim sister. Why do y'all have like the Brady Bunch open? Exactly. Yeah, what the hell? We're going to discover his body. Exactly. Really? This has to be deliberate. It has to be. Yeah, this has to be done by design, man. The fuck? We're just wasting time. Right in the head. You know he did. He was crazy, mother fifer. Yeah. Wow, he just fired all over the place. Boy, you can lay out those crocodile tears, huh? You can squeeze them out good. Yeah, let them know. Man, I was just in the bathroom taking a good old shit. I had the green apple splatters, people. Please. Uh, he didn't want you to remain the host. Mm. Do those words sound genuine, Conan? What do you think? Yeah. Quick draw McGraw over here. I know, but you went to the bathroom, didn't you? Exactly. So, are you squeezing out a turd or are you squeezing out a bullet? Which one is it? Really? Six minutes. For okay. It's a new record at least. Oh, wow. <laughs> I 
犯人は松尾さんだうーんどうやって4分間であの部屋を往復したんだラーメンちゃん、うん、どこ行ってたのを探したのよ僕じゃとおじさんのそばにいたよ Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, look at you. Gorilla takeovers, really? Yeah, this nigga is very clever. Oh, really? Yeah, so you would have to know this place in and inside and out in order to access spots like that within two minutes. Or the window. Okay. A rope. A rope! It would scare somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Why do y'all let this kid have access to all these bloody, horrific scenes? Okay, so this uh, news anchor or detective guy, I think he playing somebody, but he ain't playing nobody, man. We are well aware that he is the main culprit, but he obviously has an accomplice that aided him in killing this guy that wanted to take his spot. We just need to figure out how, because we seen the dude up in the office or in his little place of residence where he's talking to somebody over the phone and stuff like that. And I guess he was making it seem like, yeah, I'm going to do this. But, you know, he ultimately decided to sneak in when the guy least expected him to and kill him, you know. I always get these people's names mixed up. It's like they are just one and done characters. So if I don't say their names outright, that means that my brain just doesn't have enough time to register how to say them or remember them. So I just refer to them as dude, guy, and chick and stuff like that. So forgive me on that end. I just don't feel like these are going to be reoccurring characters. Maybe later on they will be, but that's just how I see it, you know. But yeah, um, it's interesting to say the least, though. I'll say that much, you know. Um, episode 31 it really ain't holding no punches you know it's really firing on all cylinders and now we have to see who did this shit you know how were they able to access certain points it's like they had to be in the know because like uh conan said it's like yeah you know these broadcast stations are made a certain way so like guerrilla takeovers don't happen you know it makes it to where they can access spots that people that invade don't necessarily know much about you know it'll take them longer to access so yeah uh very cool but yeah we're gonna figure out how they were able to do this shit man so let's go ahead and jump back into it here we go oh kino really nigga why would you play with this man like this then you would lock your ass up in there you dummy <laughs> I wonder if he gets hangovers from this. He's gonna have brain damage one day. Hey, <laughs> is that a stunt guy? Yeah. 
Oh, wow. oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm really. Yeah, class is now in session, boy. AV feed? What the fuck? What does that mean? I'm gonna see uh, Hitomi Tanakers on one of these stations. Oh, Lord. This guy wanna flex on TV. This room. Boy, our ratings are gonna go up. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, keep this shit rolling, man. Exactly, man. We finna get some good hits off of this shit. Aw. Oh. So was the person's head or body hanging out the window? No, nah, it's like you would have to be pushing him out. Exactly. Just like that. Yeah, so when he looked out the window, that's when he got shot because the guy said he was going to jump. Oh, wow. Why would you do him like that? So it's as I suspected, guys. Yeah, after old boy that was sitting in his apartment alone, you know, called the guy and was like saying that, yeah, I'm getting ready to jump out the window. It's going to be on TV and stuff like that. I guess the guy took it upon himself to look out the window and see if the guy was actually lying or not. And that's when the dude that was lying shot the guy that peeped out the window in the head. You know, I don't, I knew it was something because the blood wasn't fully on the frame of the window. It had to be something else that took place there. So yeah, it was a downward shot, which shows why the bullet hit the ground because the person was trying to look out the window. Very interesting, I like that. They lied and called him, man. <laughs> yeah, who who was using the elevator too? Some has me thinking that he probably got somebody to use the elevator. What? The cell phone. Ah! Yeah. Start 69, your ass, nigga. They read that button right quick. Oh, wow. No, no, no. Exactly. Cooking this, bruh. He cooking the shit out of this, bruh. Yeah, this one, they act all crazy. Yeah, this guy was threatening your position, right? He was going to replace you. Mm. Damn, bro. Yeah, too late now, bro. Yeah, 
You'll see it on TV. <laughs> it's going to be weird if they have that recorded and he watches that. He's going to know that he wasn't. He's on to you, bro. Yoko? <laughs> yeah, he quick to take them bragging rights when he's been hit on by a girl. Yeah. But guys, that right there was episode 31 titled TV Station Murder Case. That was a pretty fun episode too, and I like how they did that. Uh, obviously, this guy was in danger of losing his job to one of his friends that came up with a lot of uh, segments together, but I guess his friend got tired of playing second fiddle and he wanted to get that spotlight for himself because, you know, the guy had a vision. You know, he wanted to have a hot TV co-host and women in scantily clad bikinis that would obviously get them a lot of ratings, but hey... I like how this dude is like, nah, uh, uh, I'm not going out like that, man. I'm going to make sure I take you out. You're going to get canceled from broadcasting by way of this bullet to the head that's going to be coming downward. Yeah, it was very cool to see stuff like that, man. Um, But, you know, as it's been deduced, uh, time and time again in this show, um, there's no victim in this it seems like i can't feel sorry for anyone because because of the fact that this guy you know he wanted to go into business for himself and get that spot it, it's just a reminder a constant reminder that the people that die they obviously die because they want to extort the ones that end up killing them that lead to their demise you know and it's kind of reminiscent of what i used to see in something called a thousand ways to die where anytime you see a person like suffer at the hands of some kind of freak accident they lose their lives they were being stupid or they were doing something they had no business doing and that seems to be the case in every episode that we see with this show right here man people that are either douchebags they already have evil intentions or they just want to you know just light the world ablaze for no apparent reason at all they just want to go out in a blaze of glory and they end up killing them or getting themselves killed in the process you know, it's like they fly too close to the sun only to get their uh, wings singed. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the only thing I can deduce from this one. But it was cool seeing how it was. Like, once they showed that bullet hit the ground, and then I recollected that thought of this guy calling in and saying that he was going to jump. It was easy to deduce that, yeah, the shot was pointed down because the guy wanted to check and see if the person was really going to jump or not. So, yeah, man, pretty fun episode. I like this one. I will give it an A+. Plus. But anyways, we're going to jump over into the next episode, which is episode 32, titled The Coffee Shop Murder Case. So we're going to be having some decaf with this killing. Here we go. <laughs> Thrashed as usual, huh? This guy never gives it a rest. Where are you going, girl? Right? Hell no. A date? Really? That's why you're showing off the legs? How's that? What is he gonna get mad about? How can he get mad? But how is she gonna go on a date with you, nigga? Exactly, what the fuck? <laughs> oh wow she lied I thought so you lying bitch somebody really dear huh go home <laughs> now you're gonna try to bribe him with some snacks who is this yeah she got a long ass face she gotta be the me ran right oh my god 
God. Calm down. Seriously. No. <laughs> hey, okay, she bad. Yeah, she bad, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Looking like Nina Williams from Tekken. <laughs> the fuck? You staring a hole through my body. I ain't gonna lie, we got fighting game characters coming into this shit now. Oh, really? What the fuck is it with everybody being 37 to 38 years old, though? Is this him? Wow. Really? Page are going off. Oh, wow. Yeah, we gotta put a stop to this man. He is a creep. <laughs> uh oh. What's wrong? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, he's tying it now. He's went from total creep bag to charming gentleman. Somebody did? Ew. Is it gonna be that angry disgruntled chick? Probably the body, man. Of course. Really? So what, with some kind of like metal string or something, like piano string or wire? I don't think it was that simple. It's never that simple. No. It is not that easy, bro. That would be a lot more blood than that. Miss Lady. Miss Kasaki. Yeah, and there would be smudges all over that window if that was the case. Mm -mm. Mm 
Yeah, let me see what you can do, boss. Exactly. Creeper right here and this asshole right here with the ponytail. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Lady. Something like that, yeah. Well, who else could it be? Who was the insider in this shit? Yeah, they're all about the same size, too. Nah, nigga, you fit. That's what I was thinking, but why though? What does this Miss Kisaki character have against this disgruntled woman that came in, you know? Like, there's gotta be something to this. Like, she she was able to deduce certain things, but you know, it's almost like she was doing that in order to, you know, thwart everybody off of her scent, you know, just kind of make it to where they believe it's somebody else. She can clearly fit over the Western name, over the stalls to, you know, get in there and kill the person if she wanted to. But it, you know, it kind of begs the question, what did she use to get rid of all the, the evidence? You know, she, did she use, I think they said she could use some wipes and water, right? Like that would be, make it easier for her to get out of the situation. But I have no idea how this is going to go, man. This go either kind of way. It's just all going to boil down to how we're going to convince everybody that it was actually Kazaki that killed this innocent woman. And when the hell is Ren going to come back with that cake? But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump back into this. I don't know why I keep calling her Ren. I mean Ren. It's just weird calling a character that. What's the real trick? Oh, God. This is when she interferes. The rings, what the fuck? So what was she doing? Was this woman messing around with her husband? Ooh. Yeah, there's blood. <laughs> Spray with it, huh? Okay. God damn, what the fuck? Mm. 
体をトイレに放り込みドアを塞いだそしてトイレの外で紐を引っ張りナイフを抜いたのよよしよまさか犯人あなたしかいないわね殿山さん殿山 Are you sure? No. Always jumping to conclusions, man. Nigga. Why don't you just go ahead and confess already? Oh, so are you an old girl and item? What the fuck's going on? Oh, so you really was trying to mess around then. Wow. Oh, okay. No one now. Why does he sound like AI too? Oh, full counter. Yeet. Does everybody know Judo up in this shit? Right. Exactly. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Who is this guy? What do you mean? <laughs> Damn. Okay, so who the fuck was Rand talking about? Oh. Okay, so this must be her fighting instructor or something. Mom? Kagoro was hitting that? I had a nagging suspicion it's like there are similarities between her and Rand, particularly with their ferocity and combat skills. You know, it's like I was noticing that. So this one right here, she's in a league of her own and she's probably a lot better than Kagoro because she was putting two, to get two together very fast. Well, you forgot her face too, didn't you? Bro, I can't blame you. Oh, you think he's just like him? Just like Kagoro? It never, bro. Never. But guys, that right there was episode 32, Coffee Shop Murder Case. A pretty fun episode, man, especially since we got a, a reveal for another character in the form of Rand's mom. Yeah, you know, it's always interesting watching these shows because you always notice that one of the parental figures is missing. It's always a single mom or a single dad raising one of the characters. And it's not that hard to see why the mom decided to step out of this relationship because Kaguro is a meathead and he does a lot of stupid shit. You know, he's uh, drunk, 
He can be described in many ways and it's the perfect explanation as to why this woman left. She obviously carries herself very well. She's perceptive and she's very beautiful, which is why she just puts this damn wedding band on to make it seem like she's already been spoken for, when in actuality she's just single, you know. So uh, it was very interesting to see that. I was under the impression that she could have been the killer because there were certain things that she just knew so much about. But yeah, it seems like she comes from that same detective world as Kaguro. Which explains it all, except she's a lot more competent than, than to girl. Why am I not saying to girl? <laughs> it's so hard to say to girl because I'm so used to watching like Yu Yu Hakusho and hearing a character named to girl. But yeah, she's more competent than Kagura was. So um, very good. I like how once again the victim always gets what's coming to them because this victim just so happened to be having an affair with the muscle buff bob pants guy who I guess fucked up his finger or he tried to make it seem like he fucked up his finger during some kind of like rugby match or something like that only to find out that that was some of the uh, key evidence that he used in order to kill this woman before she tried to extort him and let his wife know that they've been messing around man so once again both characters get what they deserve one character is left six feet under and the other character is behind bars so what happens when you try to um hide them skeletons in your closet man so um yeah but i don't have anything else to add to that then this is a lot better uh i would say like after i went and checked to see which episodes were canonical and non fillerous it really helps the narrative flow go very seamlessly as it, you know compared to how it was when i first started where i was actually reacting to fillerish episodes I'm not necessarily sure how you guys are going to take that. I've gotten a lot of responses on the reaction channel telling me that I should just skip any fillers just so I can make this thing go by uh, more smoothly because fillers are there to pad out the series, especially for long running series that a lot of the broadcasters, they want to keep it going. They want to overextend it a little bit just so they can keep making a lot of revenue from it because they realize how popular it is. So yeah, man, shout out to y'all for recommending me to do that. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If I were to rate this one, I would give it an S, especially for Rand, Rand's mom, who was fine, man. I don't know how <laughs> Kagura was able to get that, even if they were childhood friends. Why would she let him smash of all people? She can find somebody better, like your boy right here. <laughs> no, let me quit. But this is your boy, RBG, a.k.a. The Random Black Gamer. We ain't seen the reactions. I'll catch you guys in the next reaction, too. Detective Conan, a.k.a. Case Closed. Peace.